Hello everyone, welcome to this first episode of our new interloper run. We died in our last one, uh, that one is published. We died on episode 14. I grabbed as much footage as I could and still put it together though and published it because <clears throat> I like for people to take a look at it uh, and then, you know, give us some ideas like what else, what, what could we have done differently? So one thing I just want to show you real quick is I have, this is my old, <laughs> my wolves uh, suck uh, interloper run. This is still an active interloper run, uh, but this is not one that I've published at all. You know, there's, I have 20, 225 days here. I have an older one here too. This is only 50 days. Uh, so, you know, I mean, it, it, it was, it was kind of like, you know, me getting better and stuff like that. So I, I, I have this one here, but I'm not. I'm not gonna. We're not gonna go over that one. Uh, we're just gonna start a new one. So let's go ahead and start a new one. So yeah, 220 some days. That's the longest I've ever survived. So I just. I just want to see how long we can go here. So let's start a new run. Okay. So the last time I did this, I chose the the cold fusion here. You get a 2% bonus. And I chose the fire starter. The fire starter really came in handy. Uh, I think I'm going to choose that one again. There are some other ones I've gotten here as well. So, I mean, the sprinting burns fewer calories. I'm not, I'm not that quite interested in that one. Let's see, snow arc or stamina recharges faster, straight to the heart. Okay, so these are longer duration. Okay, so this is longer duration of the effects of these teas and stims as well. Yeah, stims, energy drinks, and coffee. So that, I mean, that's a buff that would last the entire run, actually. This one is really only going to help. It's going to... We're going to get to level 5 faster, and we won't have to, uh, with level 3, we won't have to use any tinder to start fires. So we'll save on matches with this one. So that, I think I'm still going to get that one. This one, because of the air temperature and stuff like that, you know, I, I think that's very enticing. Um, but I am liking this one now that I think about it a little more, because this is active the entire thing. I mean, so is the cold one as well, but let's take a look at this one. Blizzard Walker. Yeah, this this one just helps us to, uh, to to go through the wind faster. Less fatigued at night, more fatigued during the day. I don't know anybody who does that one. <laughs> so why don't we start this one? We're just going to have to deal with the cold, the cold. But I do like the idea of these things lasting longer. Is it just coffee and energy drinks? So this is what I'm confused about. Is this all of them? Like, uh, for example, the warmth bonus that you get from drinking the different kinds of teas? That's what I'm mostly interested in. Tell you what, this seems like energy focused too much. You know, coffee, energy, stim. I'm thinking it's not going to be for the drink. So let's just go back and let's use, let's, let's just, uh, I'm sorry, not that one, this one. Let's do the cold fusion. So that's what we'll do. Okay, we'll call this 500 days, what we called our last one, where we died. Yeah, I tend to name my next runs, if you see there, like Wolves Suck. That was because the last one I did, uh, Wolves Killed Me. Wow, it is very windy. Okay, this looks like either Coastal Highway or, well, all well, the coast. Desolation Point, Coastal Highway, or Bleak Inlet. Desolation Point, okay. We are in Desolation Point, so now we could start seeing if there's anything interesting along the coast here if we want. I'm just going to grab these stones. So Desolation Point, okay, Desolation Point. Uh, so the lighthouse is right up there, so we're just right in front of the lighthouse. Um, 
So let's go into the lighthouse first. Uh, I'm going to go along the coast here for just a s little bit <clears throat> to see if we see any uh, uh, beach coming stuff. There's some stuff coming up here. Maybe a hacksaw will wash up or, or, uh, or a hammer. How about that? <laughs> All right, so we get some sticks. I have cattail. So we got a couple birch bark, which is great. Uh, let's keep going along here. Yeah, so we're just kind of taking a wide. Let's see, I have about half of my temperature left. We're going to start freezing soon. No more stuff here? Come on. What do we got here? What's this? Oh, a lynching. Okay. Take that. I'm looking for the bow to wash up here. Or hacksaw or the hammer. But I don't think we'll get that. <laughs> So let's get going here before we take too much damage. Um, we'll we'll check out those boats right there on our way. We're gonna head right up, straight up that way. Uh, Can't feel my feet. Is that that, sh that looks like a deer? Yeah, I don't think I don't think there's any predators out. Not yet. Um, but we'll get there. Or is that is that a wolf eating a deer? Damn. Nah, Please. he just killed that deer. Okay. Uh, well, do I want to mess with him like at all? It's a tough, you know. I mean, he's probably. Well, we do have. Looks like we don't have a grace period with the predators. So we have no fire. Uh, let's go down here and see what we got. So we have no fire. Which means we're going to have to seek shelter. We're going to head into the lighthouse up here. The wolf's down there. He's going to continue to stalk us until we get in the, the lighthouse. Yeah, so the last run... Um, we actually died from freezing because I. Uh, if you go back and watch uh, the last series, there's only 14 episodes because uh, we only made it to day 30, <laughs> unfortunately. Because uh, we allowed <clears throat> the wolves to reduce our condition too much, and I kept going. I, one of my mis many mistakes, I think, was I kept going out <clears throat> uh, with. Uh, less than half of my condition and stuff like that. Um, which, in wolf struggles, is you know, never good. Um, because they'll, they'll take up to half, uh, half of your, your health there. So yeah, it was, it was pretty unfortunate. So we basically don't have anything at this point. Uh, this is the first, like I said, the first, my first spawn, I got some, cooking oil there we'll bring with us. Yeah, I was debating. I'm... Oh, good. River oats. Yes. River oats sustain you in the beginning. <clears throat> They're one of my one of my tools. I actually, in the entire run last time... <clears throat> did I recheck all these? Okay. Uh, in the entire run that I just did... I might as well get this book, because... Uh, just for some more fuel. I usually pick up some books in the beginning, but that's really about it. I don't really, I don't keep picking up the books. We've got our stem there, and some Hope tomato still soup. Eat this. Yeah, only 300 calories. <clears throat> see if there's anything underneath this bed. Eh, sometimes there's stuff under there. Okay, let's keep going up. Nothing on the windowsill there. Got a container here. Yeah, we're getting warm a little bit. We don't. It's almost nighttime, actually. I could use this. Oh, we got a can opener and a sweater. So let's put both those on. Not the can opener. <laughs> we got a 
shirt. Cannot go anywhere. <clears throat> so that's point three, point four. Okay, we'll take that other one. Uh, fish cakes. Yeah, I was surprised. Thirty days. Uh, that. Yeah, so what happened was our condition went down too much, and I kept going out. And then what happened was, I was in Ash Canyon on the way back from the blizzard. Uh, I'm sorry, on the way on the way back uh, from the gold uh, mine where we got the. There's nothing here. I'm just still looking for matches. Uh, on our way back where we got uh, from the gold mine, where we got the uh, technical backpack, we. Uh, to see if there's anything so out on the my life. railing here. Oh, yes. This is why. This is why I came out and checked. But yeah, so we got frostbite. Um, risk going on. Yeah, we're going to have that. So we might as well. Let's see. The weather's starting to get bad. We have matches, so we can make fire now. So I think, yeah, let's just... Uh, <clears throat> make a fire because frankly uh, we're just gonna need to get some water <clears throat> the weather's not uh, cooperating here so we'll probably just stay here for a little bit uh, but before we start making a fire I need to get more fuel Let's see what we got here so I have we got a little bit of stuff here We have some birch bark, which is fantastic. Washed up on the shore for us. All right, so let's break down some more wood here. Break this down. We'll use the wood, most definitely, okay. All right, so this is the first volley of um, trying to get a fire going, which means since we don't have any, we don't have any oil, so we can't make I don't even have any sticks at all, really. Uh, so 100% success. Look at that. We love uh, level three. Level th starting with level three fire. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. So we just ended up freezing to death because we were coming out from that blizzard on that last run. Um, I got caught in a blizzard and I was too far away. In retrospect, I could have used my other stem. I had a, I had a, I had another stem on me actually, and I could have used that, um, but I just, I just didn't think of it. I thought, well, <clears throat> we're right up against. Again, I was using logic again, right? So, <laughs> I'm sitting there. If you look at, I'm like right up against this wall, this massive, you know, wall, uh, climbing down the rope from the uh, gold mine in Ash Canyon, and, and I start. A, uh, I start a fire and it's going good. I slept one hour, and we still had you know over an hour left on the on the fire, and so I add another piece of coal. And everything was fine. And I was thinking, well, I don't really want to go out in this blizzard because my condition is so low, right? Because we know we're going to lose some because we're going to, you know, we're we're eventually going to freeze, and then before we get to our destination, so we'll lose some. So I thought that was a little too risky. Um, I didn't account for the risk though in uh you know trying to get the uh I'm gonna make sure I don't drink this we'll save it till later okay good uh <clears throat> yeah so I went to sl sleep a second time and I got it was too risky I decided to sleep for two hours which wasn't a good choice because of the direction that the wind can change. I mean, regardless of the uh, physical mechanics, you know, of, of actually having uh, a fire uh, up, uh, literally directly up against a massive wall, you know, with, with other stuff in front of it, and you're sitting here thinking, you're looking at the physics, and you're like, okay, well, th th this fire will be fine, you know, and I'll be fine. No, no, no. Um, the direction of the wind can shift. And you can get enough wind to blow your fire out, uh, even if it is mostly pr protected, basically. You know, you're sitting there analyzing the, the surroundings, and you're like, yeah, this will be just fine. You can't count on that. Uh, so, yeah, it is what it is. 
need to add a bunch more in here because I do need to get a bunch of torches. So let's keep that cedar for now. Let's see how we do. Let's grab some torches here. Protect us against the wolves. I don't think I've ever started an interloper run in Desolation Point. The real question is, can we find a hammer while we are here? That's the question. I mean, we're already here. We're going to gather a bunch of coal. you know. So there's, there's plenty of coal here. There's plenty of scrap metal. Well, not plenty of scrap metal that isn't broken down quite yet. So... We essentially need, uh, you know, we need we need eight pieces of uh, scrap metal. If we cannot find a, a hacksaw, we uh, need uh, eight pieces of scrap metal to make what we need to make. Okay. So I like to carry like ten torches with me if I can. In the beginning here. Um, how we doing on water? Let's fill up. Well, yeah, we're getting water quite slowly because our pot is. Pretty small, and our skills, our cooking skills are so low. Okay, tell you what, let's. We're just gonna go ahead and add this. And then we'll get uh, more torches. Oh, come on, give me better torches, guys. Let's go. Come on. There, there you go. Better. See, the thing is, when you select the torches here, you're always going to get the top one. So the highest percentage one I have is 48. Um, yeah, so let's just use the rest. I have plenty, so let's just use the rest to make uh, water. I don't have anything else to make any more teas, so... Alright, that was a little close. Did I catch this? I got it. Good. Okay. That was a little close. You want to, especially early early in the game, you want to you want to uh, leave as much as you can um, of fire there for what you're doing, so that you can light your torch again. Um, so be a little more careful with that. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? Should we just? I think we should probably just go to sleep. Uh, we'll try for well fed. Uh, we might get. I don't want to eat this quite yet, uh, because I don't have anything to cure. Uh, I don't have anything to cure food poisoning with, because there's a risk if I eat this, I could get food poisoning, and it's fine if you have something to cure it with you, and then you can just go to sleep. But we don't have that, so uh, we could go out and get some more cattails. I could go out a for a little bit and just walk along the coast. See if there's anything. Uh, and no, we can't do that because there's our first blizzard. <laughs> yeah, the last run was very interesting, so we're just going to have to go to bed. Uh, we are probably just going to have to abandon uh, Well Fed for a little bit because of where we spawned uh, out here. So yeah, so let's just... Let's just head to bed because... There's a blizzard out there anyway, so we'll sleep as much as we can. I think the blizzard's done, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, so I would rather not spend a match getting out of here. How are we going to do this? <clears throat> okay, we just have to circle around, keep going away from the. Yeah, so this is the. What? Are, what, are we, what is this? What window is this? There's nothing here. Uh, this is okay. The drawer. I saw a drawer. Where was that? Is it right here? It says there's a drawer here. What drawer is this? Drawer. Just says drawer. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can find the find some other things here. Leave lighthouse. Yeah, well, that's what we we're looking for. Okay, so we have a blizzard still. 
<sighs> I mean, we're fine right now. We have shelter, but we just really can't do anything else. So uh, let's just see if there's anything else out here that we can use. I do need some more stones. I'll grab another one of these. Okay. Uh, there used to be... I think sometimes there's, like, you know, some rose hips or something like that up here. I'm going to need to eat some. Um, this isn't quite a blizzard. You know, th this is... Uh, essentially just a storm, so... Um, <clears throat> I mean, we have good visibility, actually. Uh, we can see decently, but it's just too cold. Um, yeah, let's wait a little bit. Uh, we do have to keep moving, though. This early in the game, you can't really stand still that long. You see how the calories just going down as we talk here? Down, down, keeps going down. So I'm just going to warm up a little bit. And it's too bad I didn't warm up good as much as I thought. Okay. All right, let's get moving here. We really can't afford to stand still. Um, we have to keep going. So the next place we want to go... If there is anything down there, I doubt we'd see it from this distance. I mean, in terms of beach coming. So we're going to head down here, and we're going to head to the Riken. And then we'll swing back on our way out. Chances are we're going to have to leave this region without the um, without the knife and the hatchet, because we're it's highly unlikely that we'll get enough scrap metal, number one, and number two, that we'll find the hammer. So we're just stopping in the uh, Riken up here, just as a pit stop, as we keep moving. And I'm going to go run over here and grab this, uh, this, uh, there's a vehicle under here, so I'm going to run over here and loot this real quick, see if there's anything that can help us. There should be a corpse right on the other side of that little cliff there, uh, and then we can head right into the Riken. Now, as we saw... There are wolves in this area, so, you know, we had no grace period here, you know, where, uh, oh, we got some rope here that we don't need for anything. Nothing in this region. I don't think there's anything in this region for a rope, from what I know. Okay, so that's right by a cave. All right, I don't know where that is. Okay, let's get going here. You know what? Let's grab some cattails. I'm trying to find you some food, buddy. I mean, we'll try to go for well-fed, but we're not going to risk food poisoning for it. You know, until we get some mushrooms. Anything here? Are there any cattails here at all? There are no cattails here at all. Wow. Yeah, so the previous run, man, it's very, very windy. <laughs> We've had horrible weather. Uh, the previous run, we went about seven days, at least seven days, seven game days, with no blizzard. And I think that was a record for Interloper. No blizzard. It was really, really weird. Still can't believe how windy it is. This is crazy. Alright, we will have to expend a match inside the Riken. It is what it is. What we can do is we can try to keep the torches lit from the Riken over to uh, the processing. I think that's called the Hibernia Processing Facility. Let's get in here. Get in here. Yeah, once we, uh, we could probably go for well fed once we get enough stuff to cure. Um, oh, there must be a corpse uh, up here. That's where these feathers are coming from. Okay. Alright, so yeah, let's expend our match. I'm hoping about the time we're out of here. 
And I'm so glad that we're warming up in here already. This is great. Okay. A lot of times when you start off a run, uh, you'll go indoors and you'll still be cold. <laughs> so. Alright, let's... Nothing else in this front area here, huh? Wow. Okay. So you're gonna, we need a hacksaw so we can break down. If this is where we would make the knife and hatchet, we need more scrap metal. I mean, there will be some scrap metal, but chances are we're not gonna find eight pieces. I mean, and we don't want to spend a whole bunch of coal uh, heating this thing up to, I think it's 150 degrees, it needs to be. Um, before we can melt it, so we're just going to leave... Actually, I'm going to take a couple pieces of coal, just so that I can have some, in case I need them quick. Anything in here? No? Yeah, there's nothing really in here. This time around. I'm worried about that wind, though, because I don't think... Here's one of these insulated flasks that I've personally decided are not worth it. Not until they increase the duration. Some people really like them. It's just my personal opinion. I don't like them because, you know, it's, it's uh, 0.2 kilos. Is there anything up here? Nothing up here, huh? It's a uh, 0.2 kilos of weight. Uh... And if you use it, see I'm concerned about this wind, I hope my torch doesn't go out here. There's a chance it will though. Yep. Yep, that sucks. Oh well. Goddamn freezing. Anyway, so uh, Okay, I know where that one is. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know what cave that other one was referring to. Yeah, so let's get moving, because we, we don't have much time. I'm weak. Yeah, so I don't know what other effects uh, starvation gives us. I mean, we could still run. So that's nice. But our condition is just going to keep going down. The bear... Most likely is not out. I mean, I usually see him by now. The bear can ambush you sometimes when you exit this place and you uh, come out. Is this anything? And then we'll have to light a torch once we get inside there. Anything there? 300 calories. I forgot how little... Uh, tomato soup gave you in calories and <laughs> I needed some one time uh, that I was so I ate it my you know your calorie store only goes up just like a little bit and you're kind of like hey wait a second I just ate <laughs> uh, you hear a bunch of noise yeah it's unfortunate that it's so windy because uh, I can't break that thing down anyway because uh, we need them lit. Uh, tell you what, we're going to sleep here. So let's just drink this. And let's drink a, the birch bark. <clears throat> Excuse me, we'll get some calories. You know, only 100. This will last about 10 seconds on an interloper. Let's sleep, because we just need... I don't want to expend another match, so I'm trying to sleep so that the sun can come out and I can loot loot these trailers without wasting another match, because we only have... Uh, we only have ten left, I think. Where's the... Damn it. So hungry. Yeah. yeah, ten right there. Okay. So, let's see if we can find anything of value in here. I was saying, yeah, there's enough scrap metal inside that um, 
I reckon it's just not broken down is the problem. So, there's a chance there's a hacksaw inside the processing facility there. Ah, whetstone. Nice. So. I right clicked on that bedroll, you know, we can't even move it. That thing is stuck there. You know, obviously, I mean, you can't pick them up. Okay, so we got number one of eight scrap metal that we need. That wind. Wow. Really, really windy. That might even be a blizzard outside. We'll just have to see. Probably is. But the good news is we don't have to go very far. We just have to get into the facility and, and uh, loot that place. Which I'll use a match on. But I'm not going to use a match right now because it'll be... Uh, the wind will blow it out. I can already tell. Yeah, blizzard right away. You hear that noise of those... I think it's like a bear or something. Trash cans. This one. That's a transmitter right there. Can we, yeah, we can open that transmitter right there. Okay. I haven't repaired the one out here before. So, okay, I'm just trying to get uh, some more rose hips. Let's see if we can grab another one. Some more. Nothing in there. Nothing out here. The bear shouldn't be out because it's a blizzard. Uh. I was hoping there was more rose hips. Before we go inside, let's go get the memento. The memento is right over here. The one you find inside the Riken is right here, and it's just a bunch of flares inside here. The loot never changes, I think. I think maybe just the amount is in there. Seeing what this is, uh, that's nothing. It's just a piece of making my head feel thick. bone, I guess, or something. Okay. All right, so let's head inside. All right, so you Too cold can, to think. can mostly see in here. Uh, I may not need to expend a match. Let's just see how things go. Uh, there's nothing in there. Now where the hacksaw has been inside here. I'll show you where that is. It's right over this way. We're not quite to it yet. I need to drink more water. I don't think I have enough rose hips to make... No, I don't. I don't have enough rose hips to make uh, any tea yet. Now the hacksaw was along this wall on a different interloper run. It was like right over here. It was like right in here. Or over here somewhere. I need to shut my light off. Because it's... The light was giving me a glare on my monitor. And when you're trying to find hacksaws, what is going on here? Um, yeah, that's one thing I'd like to see improved uh, is this guy. Um, he doesn't seem to step over things that well. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna light a torch because we just we really need to be able to see um, see if we're missing anything. So I'm just gonna go back over here this way. Uh, so we have nine matches left. Need to make more water. Gonna head this way, see if there's anything over this way. Nothing over this way. Other side of here. Now you gotta check everywhere. They're very creative in where they put things. See? Right there. That'll come in handy. Yes, it will, sir. 
Yes, it will. Now we have a hacksaw. Now all we need is a hammer. Um, it'd be nice if we could find some food so we don't, con or so our condition doesn't continue to deteriorate. Okay, yeah, so, oh, can I reach that? Oh, can I reach this container? I can't, I can't even reach it, dang it, okay. Yeah, the only way to get over there is to, now that I have the hacksaw, I mean, I could break this down and then I could, I could get over there. But, um. Well, what is this? I can get up here? I could probably become... No, I can't become trapped under there. Oh, I don't have to break that down. Look at that. Nothing. <laughs> I might need to break it down, though, to get out of here, though, seriously. I don't even think... Can I even stand up? Yeah, I can stand up. Okay. Uh... Yeah, so I can't get out of here. So, uh, note for future reference, you're trapped in here because this guy does not know how to step over things. So since he doesn't know how to step over things or do anything other than climbing uh, rock faces with the roots sticking out of him, uh, we're going to lose another match because this is going to take an hour and 30 minutes. Actually, let's just get rid of this. Go. The good news is we have more scrap metal. <laughs> so, but it cost us a match. Lesson learned there. I was thinking like, oh, yeah, you can get in there as you saw me doing. You can kind of wheeze, you know, you just had to get up on top of this box here. Uh, but yeah, so. All right, continuing our search. Waste another match. How many matches we have left? It should be like eight, I think. Yep, eight. Not gonna go that way quite yet. We need to go over this way. There's usually something over this way to grab, but I'm not seeing much of anything here. Yeah, how about that? We climbed over that. We wasted a match. We have a pry bar already. Nice. Okay, we got some core items. What's in my way here? Some core items. Let's see what's in this guy. I think they made the loot better on these things. Okay, yeah, we're at about 40. All right, exactly at 40, look at that. Let's see if we can get the rest of them here. Gotta do it before our torch runs out. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, come on. Oh, now you're just messing with me. <laughs> Look at this. First, first one was 40. <laughs> Did you see that? A full revolution. So your combo is 40, and then 40, and what? You really mess with my torch here, man. Oh, okay, good. Go. There's got to be something useful in here. Uh, got some I need nasty that. looking boots, and we have some food. Okay. Got some nasty looking boots. What quality are those? Twenty six. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's keep moving here. Another whetstone. Nice. What stones? Uh, where is the hammer? Is there a hammer in here? There most likely won't be. Yeah, definitely not going to get well fed unless you spawn in or directly next to a huge cattail region, which we don't have a huge cattail region until quite a bit later. Even Coastal Highway? I mean, because we're by the salt water, right? So, you know, cattails don't grow in salt water. So. Alright. What else we got going on here? 
I need to get a new torch. And careful where you, how far you, away you throw that. <laughs> uh, you might just want to look straight down and throw it straight down, unless you're walking. You know, you're already walking and stuff like that, because it could go just out of your reach and then burn out, burn out on you. Usually, there's something right underneath this bunk bed right here, but not this time. I've seen some people just they just uh, fall right through there if they want to go downstairs. Um, we'll grab the wire. Oh, more matches, sweet. Now, that's where the matches are here. There, there, there could also be matches on the bookshelf in here or on the desk uh, in there. Uh, so there's the battery uh, for the transmitter outside, so we don't need to worry about that. We have our crowbar, so we can open up these guys here. Now I'm trying to decide when I should start eating again. Uh, I'll probably just eat at night time um, and then go to bed until we get enough cattails to keep sustaining us and then we'll try and keep our well fed up. See the thing is in the beginning you don't really need your well fed because you're, you're not going to be heavy because there's just not a lot of stuff yet. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. I wonder who owns this stuff. We own that stuff. That's who owns it. Okay, so sometimes there can be matches on um, on this desk or uh, on the bookshelf out there. Um, there's probably you're probably just going to be guaranteed. I mean, don't quote me on this, but you might be just guaranteed that there's going to be matches in this building, but you're not quite sure where. So over here, over on this uh, shelf over here, or out there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with this place. Um, I mean, I do need to make some more water, but we do need to keep going. So we're going to peek outside real quick to see what the uh, status of the weather is. It's still too windy for a torch. So our torches are going to keep getting consumed like this, uh, which is very unfortunate. So I'll tell you what, I'm just going to throw this down. I'm not even going to relight it, and then we're just going to get moving. We're going to head towards uh, the, um, the mine. There's a connector mine where we won't encounter wolves. Uh, and we can also get a bunch of coal. I'm not going to take all the coal. I'm going to save enough. So if we find the hammer, we can just come back this way. Now, usually this is a 100% torch. This stuff will come in handy. Yep. If you do find a torch up here, it's usually 100%. I need more of that. Oh, we have some vitamin C. So our food store isn't looking that terrible. So 300, 300, 850... No, I didn't want to eat that. Oh, I double clicked on it. No. Oh. <laughs> Don't get too click happy. You know, something's got. I'm gonna keep uh, uh, both of these here. So I'm glad I have a can opener. So I, I didn't intend to eat that, but whatever. All right, let's go. Ah. Uh. I need to be more careful on these on these runs, interloper runs. Part of it is I want to <clears throat> keep doing stuff, and I get impatient because I just want things to keep moving along good, uh, keep people entertained. That's my main goal is to keep people entertained here. You know, so I don't. My instinct is to not just kind of like sit around and take things too slow. But I do need to slow down because I'll make mistakes and I'll take uh, risks that I don't have to take. There's absolutely nothing inside this whole thing here. There is absolutely nothing for us inside this trailer. Other than a bed, some scrap metal, and some reclaimed wood. So 
Well, at least we stopped our uh, condition deteriorating from starving for at least a little while. All right. So if you haven't been out to this region before, there's a uh, carcass, birds, cedar limb, burdock root. I wonder where this is. Ah, this gives me a clue. So this... This kind of looks like it's by uh, the church, in a way. Anyway, so if you haven't been to this region before, this is all blocked off. The only way to come through is through this uh, vehicle right here. Then we come this way. Wolves hang around about up here, so you can look over that way, see if there's a silhouette. Fingers feel numb. We don't stink, so we have that to our advantage. We do have uh, the oats we can make for food, but we need a pot for that, technically. So, yeah. fuse, I don't... I think there's only one use for fuses currently, uh, and that's just repairing the transmitter boxes, so. Yeah, see, there's a wolf right there. So, I mean, I can't light a torch. I wish I could turn around and see this guy. Uh, I can't light a torch because it's too windy. We're just going to have to, like, run past him. He's not going to come in to... Hopefully he stays away there. I just, I wanted to get to this trunk before I got moving. So he's not going to come in here, so we can come in here and shut the door, get a better look. Could end up being okay. useful. Another battery there. Yeah, see, he's... So he should run away when I do this, because he's stopped. So if they're in a stopped state, uh, all you got to do is just show him a rock. Oh, no, there's a wolf right there. We need to get right back there. Uh, I was going to take a chance and run past him, but I'm not going to be able to do that. Now, you can get stuck here on this ledge. you got to be careful. Okay. You see that ledge right there? If you're coming this way, you're just going to kind of have to go back and forth a little bit. Because <clears throat> remember, this guy does not know how to step over things. He does not. Now, the good thing is the, the, the wind has died down. Now, you see that? So that means we can light a torch... And we're not going to waste a match because we're going to need the torch in the match, or I mean, uh, in the uh, mine over there anyway. So we're not going to waste a match. So things are good now. I should say better. <laughs> All right, let's go now. Uh, now it's a different game. Uh, with these guys here. Let's see, he's going to run off. So we can keep going here. This guy's gonna come and say hello. You know, it'd be really cool. They could do so much with this game. It's it. it it's been it's done really well. The mechanics, you know, I I, I mean, I do make suggestions about certain things, but, you know, in the end, they've just done a fantastic job with this game. The only thing they have to keep doing, though, is just keep tweaking the game mechanics. And then my hope is, okay, so here's where we're going to start getting a bunch of coal. So my hope is uh, they can um, uh, port over their logic to a new gaming engine that will have better graphics, that will not compromise on you know the the gameplay quality there's a lot of coal out here you yeah, know but i'm hoping yeah they could just they can take the majority get some more matches fantastic um fire striker only 38 oh man oh well this early in the game finding a fire striker holy cow and this early in the game finding a hacksaw so that's another thing that's changed from other runs that I've done here. I found the hacksaw, like, early, early, early. So 
what that means is that we can immediately start harvesting saplings and then they can start curing that's what that means which that is huge because then the only thing we have to wait for is just like some guts to cure uh, and that's it and then we can make the bow and then we just need uh, arrowheads after that is this another stone yeah you get a lot of coal in these mines Matter of fact, matter of fact, I could take all the coal just from this mine and just take it with me, and then there'll still be plenty of coal in the it other mine that we have to itself. go through. So, and where are we at anyway? Uh, I'm just gonna load up on all the coal, basically, and then we're gonna get going. Okay, so we come out here. I'm going to try to keep this lit because I don't want to waste matches, right? So uh, when you come out of this mine, you're... Uh, uh, it's hard to explain but if you haven't been here before, but uh, right on the other side there, that's that's the exit uh, for this region. Basically on that other side over here or this way. Uh, there are wolves quite a bit, a little bit further away on the road, but there's not going to be any around here. <coughs> So, I thought I was hearing something. Uh, but this is the abandoned church up here. So, there can be some something here. Oh, I have, I have one lynchin that washed up on the shore. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, these other lynchins. I hear a wolf. I think he got a. I think he's feasting on a rabbit. Matter of fact, let's go check that out. I don't want him to eat so much of the rabbit that it's going to disappear. Where are you? I know you're around here. I hear you. There you are. Get out of here, because I want that rabbit. No, I want the torch. Come on. Now, if that rabbit was at. Um, zero percent so if he, if he would have eaten the whole thing and then you see a rabbit carcass and you go to pick it up you're like oh look a rabbit carcass yay then you go to pick it up if it's already at zero percent it's just going to disappear from your inventory and that's just a that's just a, a normal game mechanic see right now we smell because we have a, a rabbit and a deer hide around a deer hide we have a rabbit and we have the guts and everything Part of the reason I'm doing these games, or I'm posting these games, I should say. What's going on? Frostbite risk, okay. Uh, let's get some... Hopefully there's more mushrooms. There's more mushrooms on the way. Uh, I'm surprised there's only one on that thing. Alright, let's get going here. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, grab some of these feathers. Are there any more up here? Two feathers. Yeah, he's coming towards us because we have the rabbit on us. Oh no, he's, oh he's getting that other rabbit. Ah. Tell you what, everyone, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get this other rabbit that he just killed for us. You need to go away, dude, because I need to go get the. Come on. All right, go. No, no, that's not what I wanted. There you go. All right. Uh, we gotta get down here. Need this rabbit. We got that rabbit now. Alright, let's go up to the. Nope, that's not what we were doing. Nope. That's where I need to replace my stones just from trying to pick up torches. Man. Okay. Um, let's head over here. Uh, we're gonna go to the fire pit in here. We're gonna make. We're gonna harvest uh, these rabbits. Hopefully, we can. Let's make a fire before this goes out. No, we want this. Okay, go. So, the plan here now is to harvest these rabbits. Um, we're gonna eat their meat. 
And then we'll take their guts and hide with us, and then we'll stink. Then, uh... Turn down pretty fire. Well. Throw that. Uh, let's add on some... Oh, one piece of coal. Okay. Now, the blizzard can't blow out our fire in here, so you're, you're fine. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Oops, need to get to... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Here. Alright. Yeah, so if there's 0%, they'll just disappear. And that's a normal game mechanic. If there's any item that is at 0% and you still want to use it, don't put it in uh, a container and don't put it in your inventory. Let me qualify that. You can still pick up... You can pick up food and stuff like that that's at 0% clothing and stuff like that. You can put them in your inventory. But you can't put them in a the container. If you put them something, I think if you put anything that's a zero percent inside a container, uh, it's just not going to work. Okay, so we got two hours. Uh, I'm just going to do this whole thing here right now. And we have two hours on the fire there anyway, so it's fine. All right, so we got that. Um, yeah, so let's just. Oh, we're just going to have to place the the meat on there right now. So I'll tell you what, before I do that then, what I'm going to do, we're just going to add more, a little bit more fuel here. We're going to get this other rabbit. And then we're going to cook both of those things. Yeah, be about it. I could have just used my hands. It's probably not that much difference uh, in time, I don't think, uh, for rabbits. Yeah. Mike can't be far behind. Okay, so cooking slots, so then you just have to place them on here if you don't have a pan. Uh, if you use a pan, they cook faster. So you always have an incentive to use a pan when you're when you're cooking food. Yeah, I mean you can cook it like this, it's just Alright, let's see what we got here. Twenty eight minutes, we need to add more. Yeah, we'll definitely make good use of this coal that we got. And we started the respawn clock on the coal and the mine that we just went through, so... Yeah. Not much calories here at all. <laughs> so... Okay, well, let's get some water going. That thing is cooked. Alright, so we stopped our condition degradation. Um... Yeah, we're not going to go for well-fed quite yet. I just... Until I get a pot. Basically. Yeah, a pot and more cattails. I mean, starting out here in the uh, desolation point, yeah, you're just not... To go for well-fed right off the bat, you need a plethora of cattails. That's what you need. So, let's add some more... to get going because we don't have a bedroll yet. Uh, let's see. Bedroll, bedroll. We're just going to have to sleep in the, uh, we'll find, we'll sleep in one of the houses uh, out there. I'll tell you what, let's put some more so I can get a torch. Alright, let's go. So, yeah, no bedroll, so <clears throat> we're going to get really tired here soon. Well, I'm thankful it's no longer windy. I see some mushroom up here we can grab. Uh, 
And with the hacksaw, we can also break down wood and all kinds of stuff. So finding a hacksaw early in the game uh, on Interloper is just huge. It's just huge. Eating itself. Just huge. So we have to keep an eye on out for saplings. I think there's some saplings up. Tell you what, I know the way to get up here. So let's go ahead and head up here. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. I'm not here for you. I'm just here for some saplings. I heard you had some. There's also a deer carcass. Oh, another thing with the hacksaw. Uh, we can harvest anything we come across. So usually, in the beginning, you can't because you just don't have... Um, your skill's not high enough to harvest something when it's frozen. That's the that's the barrier there, because uh, you don't have anything else, right? You don't have any other tools. So you can harvest rabbits with your hand, uh, but not if it's frozen. So the hacksaw gives you all kinds of things. You can get um, you can get wood. You can harvest uh, tree limbs. You can harvest carcasses and uh, saplings. This is the sapling I was looking for. Hopefully there's another one up here, maybe. That's a burdock root, that's good. Got a recycled can. Uh, got a book there, I'll probably just burn that book. Since I'm already level three. Get moving. Let's see how much meat is on this guy. It's 1.5 kilos. Tell you what, I already stink. <clears throat> and I already have a torch lit. So let's eat. <clears throat> it's not windy. So I'm going to harvest uh, the 1.5 kilos of meat on this deer and then we're going to take off. I might just grab the hide while I'm at it. But then we're gonna have to start establishing like All right. kind of a mini base in um, uh, coastal highway, basically. Oh, you hear that torch? Keep <laughs> that torch keeps making noise going down. All right. Get the rest of the meat off this guy. I still hear that uh, torch rolling down. It's amazing I can still hear it. Because <laughs> it's like, it's right there. You can see it going down very slowly. It may have just stopped, actually. Okay, what else we got going on here? How long for both of these? Two hours. Okay, well, it's nighttime. Uh, let's finish cooking these. We'll eat both of these. Yeah, we got a jump start on well fed. Tell you what, I'm gonna just put one more in here. It'll last two hours, so it should last until we're done. Oh, I should have put more on there so that I could light my torch as we're leaving here. Something's making me feel tired. Okay, so you see how that worked? It took two hours, and it only had a, an hour and 47 left on there. And the reason is, <coughs> is because of our level three skill. So over time, the, the fire starts just lasting longer, you know, over time. And it doesn't show you 
uh, its full longevity right off the bat, is how that works. Uh, look at all these rabbits coming up here. Holy cow. Maybe that torch rolling down the hill scared him away. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, the fire, it, it, it said like an hour and 47, then I, uh, two hours to harvest the hide and guts, and then, excuse me, it was, um, I had like, what was it, like 18 minutes left or something. So that's what happens as your fire skill increases. Okay, so we're heavy, so... Unfortunately, I mean, there's a bed over there, but I would still have to expend a match, so we're just going to keep going. Um, and if you do the dark, was it the dark walker? Yeah, the dark walker challenge, you spawn down there at the end of the road in this region, if this is the region you want to spawn in. You can choose which region you want to spawn in on the long, on the dark walker. I almost said the long darker. <laughs> dark walker and the long dark mixed up. Alright. Nothing there. Okay. So, you get some more sticks. Keep going. Gonna run. All right. So after we're gonna enter in another uh, the transition cave, that's gonna take us to the transition region, which is, I think is called Crumbling Highway. Inside Crumbling Highway, we have uh, at least one corpse, I think, and we have uh, some buildings that have been destroyed. You can go downstairs. There's a basement that is not to find destroyed. Some place to escape this cold. How many lynchins do I got? I forgot to grab those other lynchins. Where are we at here? Lynchin, 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 lynchin. Show me the lynchins. Show me the lynchins. Where are they? Okay, so I need two more. For, uh, have two total. Alright. Let's keep going. Craft those later. Yeah, so the only the nearest bed is um, actually in the lighthouse. Die if I don't warm up soon. But I'm just gonna keep going. Um, we're going to make it to uh, probably I'll probably head right for. Um, oh, here's a here's a where I could use that rope. Yeah, there are places to put hang a rope. We found a rope in the, uh, the one of the trucks, uh, and I was like, I don't think there's a place to use a rope here, but there is. <laughs> we got some cured leather. Okay, so I won't be picking up any coal uh, in this uh, cave here, because I'm just going to use that coal. I'll, I'll pick that coal up. If I want to come back this way and, and make the knife and hatchet uh, at the Riken back there, if I want to do that. Uh, but at the very least, this coal will be here for us in the future, so... Nothing there. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think where we'll sleep is there's Jackrabbit Island, and before that there's Misanthrope's uh, Homestead, and I think that Misanthrope one, I think that's where we'll we'll sleep. We'll just... Make it across the ice there, then we'll sleep in there. We'll hop over to Jackrabbit. We'll come back over to um, I don't know. I have to figure out the route I'm going to take. I do want to swing by uh, the the garage because uh, there could be some good loot in that garage. But we'll see what happens. It's like as you're, you know, searching for the hammer and everything, 
Uh, you want to make a, as much of a, of a round of searching as you can, but you just you, know, you want to keep it within reason. You know, you can't search an entire region, every little corner of everything, once you first started, because you just don't have enough resources to do that to sustain yourself. So kind of do kind of spot check here and there, look at things, look at anything standing out. I found, one time I found a hammer, it was um, just laying outside of a of a trailer one time inside um, Coastal Highway one time. Just laying outside in the snow. So that's the thing, like, I mean, the question is, are we going to have enough resources? Can we get enough resources to keep searching as much as we can? Or do we just have to keep going through the regions to find a little more uh, obvious choice? I mean, because there's three forges, no, four forges now in the game, right? So there's Coastal Highway, there's uh, Forlorn Muskeg, and then there's the Broken Railroad, and there's also the uh, Forsaken Airfield. Underneath the main hangar, a there's a... Uh, a forage down there. So, actually made I made a a knife and hatchet at that forage one time. <laughs> actually, so all right. Yeah, so he's going to start walking real slow here. Um, there's some mushrooms over here we can grab. No, nope, I don't want to extinguish. All right, let's just there. Keep these go keep these going as long as we can. Alright, so go ahead, we come down this way. Sometimes there's a corpse over here, sometimes there's a container. Um, just depends. Curious as to what an interloper, what caused all these buildings to be burned down. Is there a story to that? Or is it literally just to make things more difficult? I mean, you do want things to be difficult. It's challenging. So cold. But, you know. All right, we're just I'm going to duck in this cave here. See if there's anything. If there's a corpse. Doesn't have anything we want. Looks like he's got some good shoes, though. We should we should take those off. See, that's my mouse just jerked right there. And like sometimes the mouse on my uh, <clears throat> I have a Dell G15 computer here, and uh, it's a laptop and 32 gigs of memory. Um, I'm getting I, I, weaker. I think the graphics card is like 480. It's a, it's a RTX or whatever the NVIDIA 480 one. But even that, you know, I mean, it, it this thing still jerks around. It was actually smoother. I used to play this on a MacBook Pro, and it was actually smoother on that system, this game, because. Mac. Macs are just, they're just better systems than Windows. People aren't as familiar with them, that's the problem. They don't, a lot of people don't even know what to do with the Mac. Here we have another customer up here. He's coming this way. Alright, thank you very much. Need another torch here. Or I was saying before in my last run, it'd be cool if we could throw things or toss items. Because uh, when you're, you know, up on a ledge and you're ready to climb down a rope, say for example, um, 
you uh, you need to you need to get rid of your stuff. You know you can't uh, if you're over encumbered. You know you can't climb on a rope. So it'd be nice if we could throw our stuff. And I just realized that I throw torches here, and I'm like, well, is that the only thing we can throw? Yeah, because I don't think I think anything anything we equip actually we can throw. I think technically I'm not gonna bring that with me. I don't need that. Your cooking skill goes up so fast, you know, with teas and everything that it's just not worth it. That's my opinion. Some people are like no no it's worth it no. I'm like, hey, it's worth it to you, buddy. Find food. <laughs> So, yep, there's no bed in that thing. The nearest bed now is Misanthropes uh, Homestead because so cold. none of the uh, coastal um, cabins, we'll go past some cabins that have been burned down, uh, none of those are standing in an in interloper. Yeah, you got to be careful at this entrance point because they can really come after you here. Um, so for example, like, so this is the way out. If you come in the other direction, right, you're heading to Desolation Point. Uh, that can be quite a choke point there for wolves right up here. And it, it can be difficult to shoot them because it's it's very narrow. You know, they can, they can be running over uh, the snow and everything. And if they're doing that, uh, then their silhouette's going to be changing as they're going across the snow in terms of, you know, aiming. Um, yeah, we stink pretty good, so they're going to be attracted to us. Matter of fact, we'll probably have to avoid the bear once we're trying to get to misanthropes. Yeah, I'm just not going to eat yet. <clears throat> Quite yet. It's just we need... Alright, keep going here. We need a. Uh, if I if I was in a place that had cattails, like if I was in Timberwolf or you know, Pleasant Valley, I mean Ash Canyon, Timberwolf, Pleasant Valley, those are all great uh, spawn interloper spawns. Uh, you can do Desolation Point, but it's pretty desolate. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're just not you're not going to get much. We got a frostbite risk going on. Another reason to go to misanthropes is hopefully we'll find a uh, sewing kit soon. Stop, my mouse is jerking again. The mouse jerking is. Uh, it, on this game, it, it could end your run. You know, with that mouse jerking like that. Um, yeah, I just. Uh, it's so like Microsoft keeps so for for <clears throat> first off, I've been in working in the tech industry for 25 years, so that's my background when I'm talking about tech. And Microsoft has been uh, limping Windows, the Windows operating system along, basically ever since they decided to create the registry, and uh, for Windows 95. No, wait, I need to get the new torch. Oh no, it went out! Crap, yeah, see, I got talking. Alright, so we don't have much protection yet, but we can always light another torch if we need to. Okay, so... There's some deer I can hear over this way. There's usually some deer right here. Uh, I'm gonna head this way and get saplings. We don't have a maple one yet, but I see a maple one out there, so we're gonna be good to go. The only thing we need now are arrowheads, because we have guts. Can you eat trees? Yeah, you can eat trees, actually. Alright, All right. so we're going to head this way. Um, Too much stuff to carry. Yeah, so 
over that way there's the burnt out cabins. You can follow this road all the way down. As long as you stay on the road, you'll be just fine. Uh, I'm trying to creep over to the <coughs> coast here. My condition's going down quite a bit because we're cold. Uh, so tell you what, let's... Alright, tell you what, I'm just going to make a fire right now because... I'm walking very slowly, and I don't want my condition to keep accelerating going down. So we're just going to try to put a stop to that right now. I have the birch bark. Tea. I already drank that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Come on. So say I found those two birch bark from Beachcombing and Desolation Point, <laughs> and I already drank them. Or them. It yeah. worked. So, all right. All right. So let's just extinguish this guy. Throw a piece of coal on here. Claim wood. I'm gonna warm up. I don't cook any of that. Is that the only thing we got? Do we have do we have any teas? No oh, no, you're kidding me. We can't make anything right now yet. Oh wait, why why isn't oh I had I had this selected down here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, 15 minutes. Man, it is really cold. No, it's not that cold. It's just our gear sucks. <laughs> so, uh, let's go up here. Actually, I'm, since it's so cold, and or since my gear sucks so bad, I'm just going to put one more piece on there. There we go. No, I don't want to do that. This place is down. No, I just... Okay, so I have to... we got to make another... Some of these guys. So we're not losing damage anymore from... Uh, from the cold. And we're not losing damage anymore right now from the... Not losing damage, taking damage, I should say. Uh, from anything else at this point. Uh, except for the, the fatigue, I meant to say. My words get jumbled up when I'm concentrating and I'm trying to talk and do stuff here at the same time. Alright, so... Um, we're going to stay here by the fire. We're going to prepare our burdock root. How's that going for us? We got two hours, so yeah. Prepare our burdock root. <clears throat> That's like 275 calories. Let's prepare this. Looks like a new day is dawning. What are we doing on water? Let's make a liter of water before we go. Deer over there. Some more torches. Then we'll head to misanthropes. I'm not sure I can carry much more. We'll go to bed. Yeah. Alright, how many do we have? Six? Yeah, we need some more. Get some good torches. Gotta eat soon. The first episode is usually pretty long. <clears throat> I try to I try to be done. I try to keep the episodes about oh, <clears throat> one hour. But there's usually so much to do in the first episode that takes a little longer so I'm gonna head over this way towards the coast <coughs> we have to keep going so I'm gonna eat the burdock root where's the burdock root did I already eat it I must have already eat that thing. Uh, thing is we can't see the island quite yet so, 
But as long as we follow the coast, we'll head right to the island. Yeah, I'm going to lose my buff here. Uh, I don't have any energy boosters, so we had something up here over there. It looks like a suitcase. Looks too thick to be a, a piece of wood. Got something over there too. Okay, let's go there. That, that looks like a uh, first aid kit. Well, hopefully, it's not going to start crackling on us here. Got to turn off the auto lock. But the quality tools, perfect. <clears throat> Can't feel my hands. Yep, there's a suitcase. Ah, we got a hat. Nice. Get rid of that frostbite risk. How are we doing? We still have our hands exposed? Yeah, our hands are exposed. Damn. Okay, you see that? Freezing. You can barely see. Straight ahead that I'm looking is the island. The uh, Misanthropes homestead is up on top of that. We're just seeing if we can get lucky here and some other items. Looks like there's something up ahead. Now the bear cave is right on the other side. It's on this uh, that island there, but it's on the other side. <coughs> still going down. What is that? Looks like a chest. Looks like a chest. Is it a chest? No, it's a locker. Can you open it? Yeah. So, there's a, something to check there, so I think I'm going to check that, and then we'll head up, and then we'll sleep. The house, you can see, is just right up there, but we got to come around, uh, probably, that's the long way, oh, i got to get out the ice, okay, that was close, that was close, because we can't run, see, so... <coughs> I think what I'll do, because we can either go around that side, I see a sapling over there, but we have plenty of saplings to get started right now. Uh, so I think I'm going to go around the other side here, so I'm just going to continue beachcombing along here and see what we get. Our condition is continuing to go down, but that's okay, because we'll make it. We're just going right to that house. Never would have thought to look here. Alright, it was worth it, see? We have coverings for our... Now we don't have to make any improvised uh, clothing at all except for the improvised insulation. We have some more leather here. Have to make sure we uh, harvest those because shoes are quite heavy. That is a carcass, obviously. Yeah, our condition is going down pretty quick. All right, and we can't run, so yeah, we, it's time to go up and get some sleep. What is this here? Cattail. Yes, can't tell stock. And... It's, well, it's a wolf. The only thing he's going to have for us at this point are feathers. It'd be cool if I could start an interloper run with level 5 cooking. Level 5 anything would actually be pretty cool. You know, but the scenario is that you're not much of an experienced, you know, survivalist, right? Uh, it's not like you're going to send an expert out. Play expert mode on the long dark. 
get level five everything, an interloper. Okay, yeah. The guy can't run because he's exhausted, so. Yeah, so I'm going to try not to take that many risks on this run. Um, I mean, that did enter my mind when we were trying to decide whether or not we should um, come this way or head back to the lighthouse to sleep. Uh, we had 25% energy left. You know, I mean, we could have just went back to the lighthouse to get our energy back up to 100% and then came this way, but, you know. Decisions, decisions. It's a clear day. Too bad we gotta go to bed. Because <laughs> we have to we have to get our uh, health back up here. So, tell you what, before I uh, loot this whole place, uh, yeah, let's just end, we're gonna end the episode here, guys. Because we're already uh, an hour and a half in, so. We'll, uh, We'll have to loot those things again because we just got to save. We got some shoes there, so. All right, thanks for joining me on the run. Uh, this run started out okay. Um, it's going, it's going pretty good actually. We got a bunch of saplings and stuff like that. Uh, we just had to not take risks, and we have to keep our condition up is what we need. So we, ha we have to increase our discipline here, I think, uh, in order to make it. All right, talk to you later.